Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I've been using my coins on AliExpress. Um, I don't know if you ever go on AliExpress and see. Um, they do like this thing whereby you can collect coins every day and the coins sort of like add up to money off coupons. Uh, sometimes they're worth it, sometimes they're not, but it's always worth a look. And uh, yes, I thought, oh, well, I'll spend my coins. I've got quite a few collected up again. I tend to save them up and then do like a big buy all at once so that I get a nice little haul. And this is what's come in the post today. So um, I've opened them all up ready, so I'm not struggling on camera. <laughs> so let's have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so we'll get number one out first. Um, I suspect they will all be double-sided tape. Because most companies um, on AliExpress do tend to do the double-sided tape. This one is an Evershine painting. And I've had quite a few Evershine paintings before. And they've been very, very good. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oops, our drills. Oh, they're all in baggies, which is brilliant. And our toolkit. Okay. So, it's a nice toolkit. Uh, we have, let's get it out and have a look. So Evershine tend to be quite a good company. Um, I mean, I, I've never had any problems with them. I can't uh, complain about them. Has that got anything on it? No. So we've got a single placer on a clear pen with a nice grip, uh, pen grip, as squishy as people call them. Um, great if you've got de dexterity problems. Uh, and you just want something extra to hold and I found in summer that if you use a grip on a pen as well it just stops um, your hands from getting quite as sticky when it's really hot as well uh, that looks like that's a four play set and the thin nice good quality ones yep that one is a four play set so is this one a ten or is it a nine let's have a look nope this is a ten play set so we've got a four and a ten play set as I say in the nice quality ones so that's good we've got our really good quality uh heavy well not heavy but heavier substantial shall we say metal tweezers but they are very very sharp so be careful with those try and always keep the uh, protective cover on them and um, if you've got them loose in a drawer and the protective cover comes off you find them with the point always ouch <laughs> Uh, a big square of the red wax and a little white flat bottom boat there as well with spout so that's good so it's a nice toolkit well up from uh, the standard one and let's just have a quick look at this canvas we'll get it out and let it flatten a little bit okay <laughs> the plastic's all gone um, static and stuck to the side of my desk and I couldn't get it off so that's your thumbnail there if you can see it's two beautiful white snowy owls very very nice i love owls okay let's just uh, get rid of this cellar tape so i'm not keen on the cellar tape but i prefer it to the rubber bands because the rubber bands do tend to let me get a smaller pair of scissors goodness me trying to <laughs> Get a huge pair of scissors in a little tiny gap. Okay, that's a bit better. That's it. Oh, look. Snagged my canvas slightly as well. Nobody ever said I was a professional. <laughs> okay, and we'll just let this relax. It's come on a foam roller, but the foam roller isn't quite as long as the canvas, so it's just got that little bit creased at the edges, but that will soon flatten out. Okay. So they do tend to be a good oh that's flattened out really really well look they do tend to be uh, nice canvases from Evershine so I've not had any problems but uh, that is just my experience and my personal opinion uh, we've got a lovely key code down the side and it is 30 colours so 30 colours 40 by 30 and uh, it looks like we've got a mixture of capital letters and symbols they're all very much of the same colors though and oh, have we got we've got an r there have we p i can't see a p 
mm, I can't see anything that's really going to particularly catch me out. But again, I think it's one of those things you've got to actually work on a canvas to know the different uh, qualities of them. And if you come across any problems, um, I think I've said before, I was doing one canvas and I hadn't noticed and it had S's and fives in practically the same colours. And that really did trip me up. And I had to really, really look closely as I was doing those. Let's just see if we can get this cover sheet off. It's in three pieces, which I'm not overly happy about because you tend to find that you will get a little edge of glue um, running down the edges. And if they've not quite got it exactly level where they've put the double sided tape on, then it can overlap and just make it that little bit bumpy but this so far does seem to be okay um it's a little bit raised at this end albeit i have found i've not had that many problems um once you sort of score it or flatten it down a little bit um in working on a, on a double-sided tape it's just that i like to slide mine a little bit into place um, and you can't really slide them when they're on double sided because gosh some double sided once they get a hold of those drills they are not letting go they've got them right yeah you can particularly on this one see that there is a bit of a line going along but it's not too bad it's nothing that um i can't work with uh, sorry it's making the camera go a little bit funny isn't it see if i can just carefully turn this round so you can see the picture the right way but I just love that um, I've been to quite a few bird of prey centres and seen these snow owls and snowy owls and they're beautiful they really are and the yellow eyes just peer at you and they look so wise and so intelligent but yeah I just thought that was a really really nice picture and again I just had to have it what did I pay for that one then with my uh, discounts yeah this one was two pounds and 64 pence and with postage it uh, sorry with the tax then added on it came to three pound 16 so i've paid three pound for this painting so i can forgive it the fact that it is a pod uh, sorry a double-sided tape um, and i can forgive it that it's got three lots of cover sheets on three pound i mean gosh you're lucky to get a cup of coffee for three pound in some places and uh, this is going to last me a lot longer than a cup of coffee oh that one hasn't quite gone on straight there what i'm going to do with this as well um i would recommend never re-rolling a double-sided tape canvas because you can find that you can then get problems with the tape starting to bubble up and uh, cause rivers basically a double-sided tape is like your sticky tape um and they're putting one side of it on the canvas and the other side of it you put your drills onto and it only takes for some air which by handling it a lot you'll find that the tape can lift away from the canvas and you'll get air bubbles and pockets and things and it can cause problems then putting your drills on it because it's not a flat canvas to work on so it takes a little bit more looking after but you know as long as you're gentle with them <laughs> they're okay so this one's got a little bit creased on this edge but as you can see on the back you can see where the uh, double-sided tape i don't know whether the camera can pick that up or not no not really there is two lines two tram lines going down here where the double-sided tape you can just see it on the back but on the whole that's a nice flat canvas as well they're always a nice soft canvas as well from Evershine. Really uh, nice to work on. So let's have a look at the drills and see what we've got. Oh, blimey, that's a big bag. Okay. So I'm not going to go through every single colour because they are... Uh, all, uh, oh, yeah, and it's a square one, this one as well. It's not around, it is squares. Uh, but yeah, you can see they're all greys and blues. Okay, I would recommend checking them off, but I won't uh, check them off while I'm on camera with you because it will be a little bit boring for you. 
yeah look at all these different colors did you ever realize there were so many grays and blues in one canvas <laughs> oh we have a little bit of white there 3865 so it's an off-white it's a creamy color and uh, yeah we're gonna have a lot of gosh is that so the the actual owls then must be a very very small amount of the 3865 and then the rest of it i think is going to be the greys because i would think most of these will be the background yeah okay oh we've got a couple of escapees there look as well oh quite a few escapees i'll have to be careful with these let's have a look and see what the drills look like have we got any trash in there they look pretty good pretty square um but again, it's one of those things you do need to work on it to see what the quality of the drills is. Okay, right, let me get these put back in this bag and we'll go on to the next one. 29. 30. Okay, so there are 30 colours there. And let me just get rid of the stragglers. Looks like there's nearly one of every colour that has decided to come out there. Okay, get rid of those. Right, so that's number one. Okay, so let's have a look at canvas number two. Ooh, okay. And what have we got in here? Okay. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Just a loose pair of tweezers in the bottom of the bag there. Okay. Um, oh, and this has come with my least favourite packaging, which is all those funny little bags. Okay. Um, I'll have to put a link down below as to what company this one's from. Um, it's just given me the shop number which is an actual sort of like long number rather than the, the actual shop. But uh, yeah, we've got um, just a single place there, a clear pen, square of wax, flat bottom boat, and this one's got a few little grip seal bags in with it. And then as I say, just slung in as an afterthought, we've got a pair of the uh, cheap metal tweezers. Oh, they're rough on the edges as well. They're not very good. Yeah, they're quite a, a roughish edge those. Uh, mm, okay. Not as good as the other shiny ones. So let's see what the canvas is. And it's got rubber bands on it and I don't like rubber bands because they can leave a ridge on your canvas. Let's get rid of those. It's on a very big roller. Okay, it's not um, a very big canvas. Ooh, this isn't looking brilliant. Right, it's a 30 by 30 canvas. Wow, that's a big roller. Okay, ooh, let's just flatten this down a little bit. The edges have got a little bit creased. Let's see what it looks like on the back. It's not too bad. It's actually the same soft material as the one that I've just shown. Um, albeit this is one piece of uh, double-sided tape, one cover sheet. So let's just see if we can relax this a little bit. Can't get that corner up there. Let's see if we can show you the picture. And uh, I think you'll know why I've ordered this when you see it. Okay. It is. Oh, it's not a. Oh yeah, you can see what it is. It's Starry Night, but it's a little Scotty dog. So we just have to have the Scotty dog. Um, I just thought that was so good. So we've got a little bit of starry night with our little Scotty dog. The canvas actually, although it's still been a bit bashed and the cover sheet was quite um, creased, that canvas is very, very flat. There's no rivers or bubbles on that at the moment. Gosh, that tape's going right up there. Oh, heck. They've really used a massive piece of double-sided tape on this. It's going right up to the top there. Okay, so it says it's a 30 by 30, which usually with um, a double-sided tape canvas says. I will measure it once I've put the cover sheet back on. Um, we've got 20 different uh, colours. 
and there's DMC codes on it. We've got a little thumbnail and the key code at either side, so that's really good. And it looks like we're all let uh, all numbers down to eight, and then it's all capital letters after that. So that's brilliant. And I can't see that there's any of those that are going to be similar to trip me up. It looks like a nice clear drill field. You can see there. That's better. Yeah. You can see there, nice clear drill field. And again, this one, is it a round or is it a square? I thought I'd ordered a square, but let me have a look. It's a square, yeah, it's squares. So that's really good. So this one will definitely, once it's done, will be going on my Scotty ball. All right, let me see if I can get this back flat now. So get those horrible creases out that were in it. Yes, that's going down nicely. Okay, that's a lot better. But yeah, I just thought, yeah, I've got to have it. Just get any air pockets out of from underneath that cover sheet. We don't want any bubbles. Okay, let's give it a quick measure then. So, where's the edge? Where's the edge? It's from there to there, yep. Yeah. It is exactly 30 centimetres, which is 12 inches by, that's the edge there to there, which, yep, yeah, is 30 centimetres, 12 inches. So a good 30 by 30 canvas. Yeah, like that. Great, looking forward to doing that. And um, oh, we've got uh, an inventory sheet with this one. And oh, I'm not going to take all the drills out. I think you can uh, see the colours there. We've got the blues, the greens, and uh, yeah. But they're all in those horrible little packets. Don't like the little packets. Urgh. Oh well, never mind. You can't have everything. It is a Scotty dog. What can I say? I'll just fold those up a second. So let's have a look. Our inventory sheet there. Okay, yeah, again, it gives us our uh, DMC. Uh, sorry, this is our DMC numbers there. It tells you how many packets of each that we've got there. We've got 21 packets of 939. And there is no 310s on this. So, again, we've got another uh, Scotty dog that has no 310s on it. Okay. Uh, it starts at 413 actually, so yeah. So say so I'll let you know once it's done as to how it uh, goes down and what the squares are like and I'll put the link down below as to which shop it was from. Okay. Let's and let's have a look at our last one. I didn't use coupons on the uh, Scotty Dog. That one actually cost me £9.97. So that's what a love of Scotty Dogs will do for you, you see. I don't always buy bargain ones. Sometimes I buy ones I like as well. <laughs> okay, and then the last one from this little mini haul is... This one is an AZQSD, which again, I've had quite a few uh, canvases from this company. And they've all been really good. And yep, that's that one empty. Um, oh, we've got an inventory sheet with this one. Uh, this is the picture that we've got. Beautiful uh, white horse there. So we've got white owls and a white horse and a little bit black Scotty in this one. Uh, it's exactly the same tool, oh, nearly the same toolkit as the Evershine one. But this has got the cheap tweezers in it rather than the uh, very sharp pointy tweezers but yeah you've still got your 10 placer there you've got a four placer and your pen with your uh, grip on as well okay uh, the drills are all bagged up again all the different colors there and again it is a square and this one cost me three pound 38 so I ought to write down really how many coins I use um, as a 
against these and it is this is a 40 by 30 and this one is 29 colors it says strange they're usually 30 colors <laughs> okay oops Get that off there oh it's very staticky again so they're all stuck to the side of my desk i'm having i'm gonna have fun getting them off all right Get this squelly tape off. Okay. And let's. Oh, oh, we've still got a bit of plastic there. A bit of a hanger on. And let's just take this one out very, very carefully. Okay. And again, it looks exactly the same as the other shine one. But it just doesn't have ever shine written at the top because the key code and everything just looks exactly the same so i think possibly they use the same uh, manufacturers right this is in three parts as well which is quite sad okay so let's see if we can get this double sided off just double check i'm not pulling the canvas off with this try and do this as flat as you can to keep it as flat as you can so i do prefer it they do do bigger pieces i can only presume um that it's cheaper to do it in three parts oh this horse has got a blue nose it must be cold <laughs> um because surely it would be a lot quicker to have one great big piece of double sided and just put it over albeit that might be trickier to put down so i don't know Okay, so let me just carefully turn this round so you can see the picture the right way again. We've got all portrait uh, pictures this time as well, rather than landscape. But yeah, that is uh, a very, very pretty horse. Look at the mane flowing there. And we've got a blossom tree coming down here and across. So it's running through the spring meadows, I think, this one. Very nice. Yeah, I've not done a horse one before, so this one will be new to me as well. Okay, let's get him or her covered back up before I do anything silly. Okay, that's another reason why I do these type on a desk, because I can just quite imagine uh, Lily would decide to come and have a wander across and see what I'm doing just while I've got this up. And I don't want Scotty Dog stuck to me diamond paintings. Okay. That one's flattened back down. Yeah, when I had my uh, previous Scotty, Maisie, um, the first Christmas I had her and I was making my Christmas cards. And uh, in those days, I used to sit with stuff on the settee um, and I just used to use like a little coffee table in front of me. Didn't have as much craft stuff as I do now um uh, yeah and for whatever reason she managed to get hold of a full roll of double-sided tape and run off with it and i must admit she suddenly went really quiet and when you've got a scotty quiet is very suspicious and i looked up and she was wrapped around in this double-sided tape she'd managed to unravel it and she had it stuck round her face, round her ears, round her paws. And she sat there wagging her tail saying, look at me, aren't I clever? And it took me hours <laughs> to get it off her. I had to like soak her down a little bit and put conditioner on her fur, dog conditioner. Fortunately, I had some. And just keep brushing bits out so I wasn't pulling her because I didn't want to put her off having baths because she was still only a puppy but oh my goodness i've never seen anything like it a dog covered in double-sided tape so that was a lesson learned i never put it anywhere where a dog can get hold of it now hence why i do diamond painting on desks <laughs> okay we'll have a quick look at these drills Oh, look, because I couldn't find it. Because I said I could find the end on the last one. This one's taking me longer. <laughs> okay. Right. So, again, I'm not going to go through every colour, but I think you can see 
all the different colours. They look reasonable squares, they're acrylics, so they're not um, the resin which are the top quality, but they are still looking pretty good. Yeah, some of them actually, oh look at that one, that's a big bag. That's the backgroundy colour, that's 341 background. And then I've got a lovely purpley colour there. So yeah, there's a good mixture of colours there. Again, a lot of blue. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of blue when I do these two paintings. Let me just get these put away. It'll be a second. Okay, so that's the 29 bags. And I'll put my little sheet this very well. <laughs> I've just stuck it in the desk. <laughs> okay, so that's the drills for that one. So, and um, did I say this one was £3.38? So what have I paid? £3.38, £3.16 and then £9.97. So the smallest one actually costs more than the other two put together. <laughs> okay, so we've got owls and a horse. And a little Scotty dog. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me. Uh, if you've got any questions, if you want to pop them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed seeing these, I'd much appreciate a thumbs up from you, which is the little uh, button just down here. And um, if you can share with your friends, that'd be marvellous. So I can just try and up my subscriptions a little bit more. Share the love, as it were. And if you want to see more, press that subscribe subscribe button down there and a little bell next to it and you'll be notified when my next videos come up so thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now